These individuals are all in their 90s. Grandparents leading ordinary lives. But 70 years ago, they were part of a secret organization that planned one of the most terrible acts of revenge in history. In May 1945, Hitler's thousand-year Reich lay in ruins. Evidence of the mass slaughter of Europe's Jews began to emerge. And the most senior Nazis were put on trial. But for one group of Holocaust survivors, this wasn't enough. <laughs> They dedicated themselves to seeking the ultimate retribution. Killing six million Germans for the six million Jews murdered. They called themselves the Avengers. Now, based on the testimony of the last remaining survivors, some speaking for the first time, and with extraordinary new evidence, this is their story. I wanted revenge the moment when I saw what they did to my mother. In 1985, this house was the location for an extraordinary meeting. Gathered there were members of a group of Holocaust survivors. The leader was the famous poet Abba Kovner. Kovner had been diagnosed with terminal cancer, but before he died, he wanted his group to record the details of one of the most astonishing stories to emerge from World War II. For years, these tapes have been kept in a vault. They have only recently come to light. Even those who were there have never heard them. Just as the Nazis had murdered six million Jews, Kovner's Avengers had planned the mass slaughter of six million Germans. He even gave their organization a name. They were called the Nakam. It means vengeance. The story of the Avengers began in Lithuania, in Northern Europe, during the darkest days of World War II. In June 1941, the capital, Vilnius, home to 80,000 Jews, was stormed by the Nazis. Within weeks, the Jews were rounded up and imprisoned in a ghetto. Then came a horror beyond all imaginings. More than 60 years later, Josef Hamitz, 
one of Kovna's future Avengers, returned with his family to the site of one of the worst massacres of the war. Hamatz died in 2016. This home video is one of the few accounts he gave of an appalling atrocity that he witnessed. He was 18 years old when the Nazis ordered him to join a work detail in the nearby forest of Ponar. The prisoners were stripped, then shot in the back of the head, their bodies piling on top of each other. Ahmetz's work detail was then ordered to incinerate the corpses 